What's up guys, my name is Chris and Tam. I'm showing you guys three ways to fix the varying resolution error in EV Synth. So that being said, let's get into it. So getting right into it, why does this error occur in the first place? Well, to put it simply, the error occurs because the keyframe and the video source files are just two completely different sizes. Hence resolution error or whatever it was. So with that being said, it can be a 4K keyframe with a 1080p video or a 1080p video with a 720p keyframe. Either way, they still both have to be the exact same. It has to be 720, 720, 1080, 1080, 4K, 4K. They have to be the exact same size with this. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple different ways I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. The first way is just taking your footage in After Effects and just resizing your footage to match your keyframe. So if you're using something like Deep Dream Generator or the Face Apps or stuff like that, it's gonna resize your keyframe and it's not gonna match the original video source file. So what you can do is you can actually take those dimensions and just reframe your entire video to that and just export it again like that. This is my least favorite method of doing this because first off, it takes the longest, it is the most space consuming, and honestly, it always degrades the video to make it much smaller than I enjoy it. Um, I usually put my stuff out at 4K, but doing this usually knocks it out to 720 or lower, which I'm just not a big fan of, which obviously if you're upscaling a keyframe, which is what we're gonna do with this next one, is actually upscaling, there are drawbacks along with it. Say for example, you have a 720p keyframe, but a 1080p video. If you just upscale that 720 keyframe to a 1080p keyframe, it's going to lose some visual fidelity, but you still have your 1080p keyframe, which it can still base off of it. It can still use that sharpness to kind of guide it a little bit more for your keyframe, but it's one of those, either you're upscaling the video and make the whole video look bad, or you're upscaling the keyframe to make the whole video look bad. At the end of the day, they're both gonna work. All the keyframes and all the EV synths I've been doing on my channel have been 1080p keyframes that have upscaled to 4K, which 1080p still does look pretty good, honestly. So it's really just seems like it's one of those things you're either giving or you're taking, you're still losing quality one way or another. Which is why I wanna actually show you guys version number three, which is by using Waifu 2X for all your anime body pillow needs. This is not an ad. No, in reality, this is actual software that you can use to upscale your images and actually make them look really great, honestly. So with that being said, how do we use it? You can just go to Waifu2x's website, which I have linked right here and in the description down below. Drop your image into it and you just click upscale. That's really it. There's no really difficult settings to do with this. There's nothing too complicated. It just you do the thing, you do it right, and it works. It just works. That's really all there is to it. There's no reason to do a full tutorial on it because it's so simple to use. So how does it work? Well, I'm gonna take this Vincent Van Gogh effect I have on my video right here. And here's the 720p version, here's the 1080p version, and here's the Waifu 2X 4K version. There's a pretty defined video difference here. The 4K looks a lot crisper by using Waifu 2X and it makes it look a lot nice and buttery smooth and hard lines and it just looks so beautiful. It makes the Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night effect just look even better than it usually does. So yeah, there's three ways that you can make your keyframes look even better by upscaling them and fixing that video resolution error. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button down below, click that little bell icon to get notified for all my video uploads. With that being said, right over here is a tutorial playlist for other EVs and tutorials, and right over here is a video that YouTube is saying that you guys are going to enjoy. I don't know what that is, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it, and click right over here on my chest if you want to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.